Hey guys, it's Anna with Hatcher Realty, and today I have Trey, one of our top sales agents in our company. And yesterday we were talking, and he started telling me about this amazing story he had with one of his sellers, and I was like, you've got to share that with us. So Trey, tell us what happened. Hey everybody, so I made an encounter with a seller about two weeks ago. It was unexpected, totally. Um, I had an actual buyer um, call me one day and they're like, hey Trey, do you know about this, this home that's for sale out in Old Town? I'm like, no, I don't. I said, but I can check into it for you. So um, so I, I went online and um, we got Lady's phone number and turns out she lives out of state and she said her husband, I finally got a hold of her and she said her husband had died. Um, it was close to 10 years ago now and she had said that um, people had ransacked her house and that it was in uh, just like really bad condition. So I'm like, well, are you interested in selling the home? She's like, well, the only problem is, is every buyer that I've ran into, everybody calls me and they wanna, they wanna buy the home from me, but essentially they don't wanna pay enough money. She's like, they don't even wanna give me enough money to get me out from under the mortgage. So we pulled everything. Um, and when we did, we discovered that she hadn't paid taxes in seven years. She had, and she had told me she hadn't made a mortgage payment um, in five, five or six years. and. Surprisingly, um, the mortgage company hadn't came after the home yet or the county hadn't sold it at a tax deed auction. And um, so I'm like, okay, I said, well, why don't you let me go look at the property? And I said, we'll run some numbers on it. And I said, see what we can do. Uh, she's like, okay, she's like, that would be great. She's like, I don't care if I break even. Um, no, she's like, I, I care if I, I, I just want to break even. I don't care if I make any money on it. She's like, I don't even care if I make $100 on it. Just, just get me out from under it. And I said, okay, I said, well, don't have those expectations. I said, what? I said, you need to look forward to um, selling it and getting out from under it and essentially making some money off of it. I said, um, something you work so hard for, I said, you don't, you just don't want to give away and break even. I said, you want to make some money. So we, um, long story short, we got it listed. She called her lender and got a payoff from them. We actually closed this coming Friday and she'll walk away from the closing table with nearly $40,000 after all of her back taxes are paid, after her mortgage is paid off. Um, we had sold the house in an as is condition to a cash buyer. And um, so like she's totally pumped at this point and she's, I mean, she's tickled pink that we're, we were able to get her out from under the situation in which she thought was gonna be a total nightmare for the rest of her life. You know, stuff like that just really, it, it doesn't just make her day, it makes our day too. Like we're not, we, we do love what we do, but to see people have this really great like underdog story and really just change their life, that means the world to us. And I really appreciate you sharing that with us because in the world that we live in, we need more really happy endings and stories that just really make you feel good. Oh yeah, I mean, because I mean, we're talking about this home was a beautiful home before she left Florida. And we're talking since she's left Florida probably seven, eight years ago now. I mean, the people that have went in there, like squatters and, and such, they have like tore everything out of this home and cabinets. I mean, it needs new flooring, it needs the whole nine yards. I mean, electrical, I mean, you're talking thirty to $40,000 worth of work. And she's happy that she can just get out from under it and on top of that, make some money too. Yeah, well, I'll be excited to see what the new buyers do with it, just to see kind of like the Cinderella story, seeing this home get turned around and oh, yeah, get a facelift. Yeah. So thank you for sharing that. And I hope y'all stay tuned for more stories like this because we're gonna get better about really sharing our client stories because that's really what it's about. It's about the happy endings and making things happen for people. And that's what we do. So we'll talk to y'all later.